Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and day 14, December daily. So, um, as you saw in my previous video, I did a couple of bonus inserts and I'm now on this light blue tealy colored, um, turquoise, whatever color this is, um, cardstock. And I'm getting very close to the end of this signature and I still have three days. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use this pocket and um, I'm going to affix this somehow in here. And I'm thinking what I want to do is that I want to stitch it down to this cardstock. So I'm going to create some sort of hinge or like fold and then have this sewn in here. And um, because that's going to impact this page, that's why I'm talking about it now. So that's going to be an element. I'm thinking maybe um, some like red em embroidery floss if I have any. I'll have to check to see what I've got in my stash. Obviously, the easiest thing to do would be to use washi tape, but I thought, oh, let's switch it up. I have two pictures for today, well, sort of two pictures. I have um, a picture of me and my computer at home because I had to work on this day and I wasn't too thrilled about it. I had pre-printed this uh, tea already and I have this photo of a text message just, you know, basically complaining about working <laughs> and everything that's going wrong. So I'm thinking of actually adding this photo on this side and then doing a decorative element on both of those and then probably some pattern paper on the back of this one and then just using or having a pocket and so what I'm looking at I've got this envelope from one of the cards I received this year and I thought this one might work in here it's a tad bit long I think um, yeah it's just a tad bit long so I might just bump that over and seeing as I'm going to be sewing anyways, that maybe I can incorporate that stitching with this one at the same time so that I do um, both at the same time. Anyways, that is what my thoughts are. Let me get to work and I'll show you what I came up with. So for this envelope, I did trim off a piece so that it is fairly flush here. I glued down the flap and I just left the pocket up here open. So I'm expecting to come in probably about a half inch from the middle to stitch this in. And that's just going to help for um, alignment. On this side here, I, um, I glued down this um, pocket or this bag and I glued, glued, it, glued it down crooked. <laughs> so I had to rip it up and then it didn't look nice. So I added this washi tape in here. So hopefully that won't make it too difficult to stitch through all of this. Now I do have quite a few layers here. So this could be challenging for this tool. This is the We Are Memory Keeping, We Are Memory Keepers. I don't know what it's called, book binding kit or whatever. And so um, I'm going to see if I can get this to work. And basically my thought is I would like to come in about there, I think. That should do the trick. We'll add the guide. Hopefully this doesn't compress things too badly um, along the seam. That's my biggest fear. So I don't want to make it too tight, but let's see if we can bind this. Or bind it. Let's see if we can secure this without pressing too much on the overlap. Okay. And it comes with an awl or a paper, paper piercer and I don't want to I don't want to do too tiny of stitches I don't think. Um, so I am just going to go every second. We'll see how that works out. It does come with two needles. I'm just going to use the straight. This is, I don't think I need the curved one. I think that's better used for book binding. And I have some of this uh, So Easy Floss in red that I think will work. So 
we'll get that in and I'm just going to do um, a running stitch or a back stitch or whatever you want to call it and I will show you what that looks like once I'm done. So I just started at the top and I left a little bit of thread loose and um, my thought process is that I will tie it up here and maybe add a charm or something just to make it a little bit interesting or if all else fails I'll just secure it and call it done. So all I'm doing is literally just going up and down through each of the holes and then I will come back and go the opposite direction. Just making sure I get through all the layers. Okay, so this is what I came up with for day 14. Um, I did the stitching, as I mentioned earlier, and the back side looks like this, and this flap, I'll just have to train it a little bit more to, to um, pull out like that. Um, so I added, I left the, the fringe at the top, and I tied this tag on it, and it says, tis the season to be merry, and I added the little label or not, because I wasn't too happy about working. I also added this little Santa charm on the end just for decorations. I got these on um, Amazon. It was a bag of, I don't know, I want to say like 50 charms or something like that and they're all all Christmas related. My plan is to use some of them to decorate the spine when I get to that point. So here's the pocket. I added the 14, this is a December Daily Ali Edwards sticker, just to a punched out shape from the cardstock. Um, I did put this on foam dot so that this kind of tucks in like this, hopefully, um, to keep it from flapping too much, but it's not the end of the world. If it does, once this is bound, it's not going to be that big of an issue. From the Echo Park, which was where the paper came from, there was a sticker with this wreath, so I added that. I had stamped this label earlier. It says currently, and then there's this little bow that I had stamped. These stickers, border stickers here, are also from the Echo Park. Um, I love Christmas set. And then I just tucked in my photos. This one here just has a picture of all the wreaths. I did think about maybe adding something here and I might go back and do that later but right now I'm okay with it just being like that. There's the photo of me looking real impressed with working and on this side here I added some more of that Echo Park paper. I just added a label that says delicious and then the star is from uh, Colorcast Designs. And then on this side here, I took some paper from a Simple Stories Project Life card, cut it in half. Um, I like how it um, has the blue in here, so to just kind of carry that through. And this is a Santa that I had colored, stamped and colored previously. So that is my day 14. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, happy crafting.